seam and will get about four, maybe to the 31-yard line. Call it second down and six. Well, it may be close to the 32. We'll give him three. Second down and seven. Thirteen to nothing. MSU at the minute 45. And time ticking here in the first quarter. Stoltz will go out wide to the left side. From Woody, tied in on the right side. Bratsburg and Woodcock. Garden tackle on the left side. Tatrell on the give to Hogerberg, and he won't get much of anything, maybe a yard or so. To about the 31, it'll bring up a third down call for MSU. Highlands continues to jam the middle of the field defensively. Uh, most of the time, they've got five, six guys up on the line of scrimmage. Their inside linebackers are just uh, maybe one yard off of the line of scrimmage and uh, uh, up playing very tight to the line of scrimmage, which again would uh, lead one to believe that the Bobcats are going to have their best success running the ball to the outside. Eric Isaacson, Ken Iden, guard and tackle on the right side. Brian Kermwoody tied in on the right side. Three receivers to the left. Tatrell to throw, getting pressure now, going to roll out. Turns it loose, completes it to Swanson out of the backfield. The 20, the 15, the 10. Lunging forward down to the six-yard line. He will not be taken down. Finally, it takes four Cowboys to wrestle him down. First down, Bobcats. Nice job by Tatrell that time. He was under some pressure from the defensive end for uh, Highlands Mike Uliberry and uh, John gave him a little move, stepped to the outside, away from the pressure. He found Swenson wide open coming out of the backfield, and uh, then just uh, Swenson turned upfield and uh, turned on the thrust. Made the catch down to the 25-yard line and got away from middle linebacker Otis Rodriguez. He simply outran him and add up over the football for the Bobcats. The ball on the seven-yard line. First and goal for MSU from the inverted bone once again. And the give is to Hagerberg, who will bust it ahead to about the five-yard line. Tatrault is thumped pretty good after he handles it off by Jay Covington, the senior linebacker out of Pasco, Washington. That'll bring up a second and goal from the five-yard line. Well, they'll spot it at the six now, so he got less than we thought. And that will end the first quarter. At the end of one here in Bozeman, Montana State 13, New Mexico Highlands nothing. And Rob Stoltz has a touchdown catch for MSU. Defensive man for uh, Highlands never saw the ball. That's, a, as you mentioned, in a timing pattern where Stoltz just runs to the corner of the end zone. Tatrell puts the ball up. you got to commend uh, Rob Stoltz. He is looking back directly into the sun. So not only is he uh, looking back trying to find the ball, but he's also trying to fight off the sun. So uh, nice time by Tatrell. Nice catch by Stoltz. So, Jay Judeon for the extra point attempt. Stoltz is over. The ball is down. The kick is up. And the kick is not good. So, with 14.55 to go in the first half, it's Montana State 19, New Mexico Highlands nothing. You're on the Bobcat Radio Network. Bobcat set, set to kick it off. Jay Judy will kick it off. Judy has not had a good afternoon on the PATs. He's attempted three, had one blocked, and missed the last one. That's the bad news. The good news is the Bobcats lead it 19 to nothing. Kick is high, and coming down to Hamilton at the six. The 15, the 20, up the middle, and a penalty flag again goes down as he brings it back up to the 24-yard line. Nice return by Brian Hamilton. Let's see what the penalty flag is for. Bobcat drive for the touchdown, Dean, 63 yards. They started on their own 37-yard line. A nine-play drive, this time putting the ball in the air more than keeping it on the ground. Uh, five passes and four runs in that nine-play drive. Tatrell to Stokes uh, for the touchdown. Took a little over four minutes for the drive. So the penalty call is a clip against the Cowboys. So that'll start them up uh, deep in their own territory. They find themselves trailing 19 to nothing. Let's add another quarter to that uh, string for the Bobcat defense. They came into the game having not allowed a touchdown in the last seven quarters of play. That would be four quarters from last weekend and, and three quarters prior to that. And they've now added one more quarter to it. So it's eight quarters of play. The Bobcat defense is not allowed a touchdown. Holland in the slot right, wide to the right side, will be Brian Hamilton. Paul Rodriguez has him in the eye. First down call. And he gives straight ahead to his tailback.
quarterback Tim Ellison, and he has wrestled down at the five-yard line. But the penalty flag is dropped there also. I'm looking for a statistic here on the number of times they've thrown the penalty flag in the uh, first quarter. Eight first downs in the first quarter for the Bobcats compared to four for New Mexico Highlands. The Bobcats 117 yards on the ground, New Mexico 32 yards. 40 yards of passing for the Bobcats in the first quarter, 30 yards of passing for New Mexico Highland. The Bobcats uh, Tatrol three of four in the first quarter. For New Mexico Highlands, they were four of uh, 10. Uh, for the Bobcats, Hagerberg, eight attempts and 29 rushes. And Tatrol, five attempts with 83 yards of uh, rushing on the ground already just in the first quarter. Penalty was a face mask call against the Bobcats, making it a first down and five. That's one of those incidental face mask deals. From the shotgun this time, Holland out wide to the right side, Binion to the left side. Rodriguez with a lot of time, throws out the right flat, completes it to his tight end Haslam up at the 25-yard line, pushed out of bounds there by Steve Lebsack. But that will be enough for a first down for the Cowboys. Bobcats at all, not a surprise to see the uh, shotgun offense. They did practice a lot, did work a, a lot on uh, in, in practice this last week, and we're expecting it. First down for the Cowboys of New Mexico Highlands. Bobcats lead it 19 to nothing. We're in the second quarter. Uh, wide to the left side, Hamilton. The slot left is uh, Holland. Haslam tight end on the right side from the I formation. And the pitch. 25 to the 30, across the 32, and pushed out of bounds by Mark D'Augustino on the carry as tailback Tim Ellison for the Cowboys. So a nice pickup. Bring up a second down and short yardage for the Cowboys as they bring the ball back inbounds and spot it at the 33-yard line. So it'll be second down and three for New Mexico Highlands. Out wide to the left side is Bobby Binion. In the slot left is Holland. Haslam tight in on the right side from the I formation. Randall is the fullback. Now he and Ellison split. And the give is to Randall, and he gets nothing. Trying to go straight ahead, and all he finds is blue jerseys. Corey Whitmer, the first one there for Montana State. Checking our college scoreboard, some final scores. Dean, Army over Wake Forest, 14-10. to 10. Georgia beat Mississippi State, 26-3. to 3. It was Clemson over Maryland, 31-7. to 7. Northwestern in uh, beating Rutgers in the fourth quarter, 27-32. to 32. Notre Dame over Michigan State in the second quarter, 14-3. to 3. Island wide left in the slot. Hamilton out wide to the left side from the eye again. Third down and three. Pits the tailback Ellison trying the right side and he will be about a yard shy pushed out of bounds in front of the Cowboy bench. Skelton over there to make the initial contact for Montana State. Good job by that left side of the defensive line for the Bobcats. Uh, Mike Burns over there, Rob Hatch over there. They really did a nice job of uh, holding their blocker, getting them uh, stood up and then stringing the play out, allowing the pursuit to catch up and make the tackle and keep uh, Highlands from getting the first down. And I believe we're going to have a timeout call by the Bobcats. We are. Timeout on the field with 13.02 to go in the first half. In the second, it's no Montana State 19, New Mexico Highlands nothing. You're on the Bobcat Radio Network. going to go for it from the shotgun on the fourth down. No, it's a quick kick now. And Rodriguez, the quarterback, boots it away and it is down finally by Brian Hamilton at the 29-yard line of MSU. And we have an injured cowboy down there. And that is Kevin Benavides. Well, they lined up in the shotgun as if they were going to throw it and Rodriguez wanted to punt it away. And he did punt it away. Well, first of all, it looked like maybe they were going to uh, line up in the I formation and uh, go for it. Then uh, he ended up in the shotgun. I don't quite exactly understand what they're thinking. But then he, to top it all off, he gets a bad snap from the center and was able to get the ball away um, for the punt. We have a new quarterback in for the Bobcats. Bobcats uh, breaking the huddle and now going to huddle it up again. Steve 
Steve Freed will be in for Montana State. He'll move out wide to the right side along with Plunkett and Ty Ryan Hockenberg as the lone setback. The new quarterback for MSU is Clarence McKinney, the freshman from Houston, Texas. And now Ryan will move back into the backfield with Hogerberg. McKinney on the give to Ryan, and Ryan may be gone. The 50, 45, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Cy Ryan, 72 yards. That was a nice handoff by the new quarterback. It must have been the secret. Nothing fancy about it. It's just the option part. He goes to the dive back. Uh, Highlands may be overcompensating a little bit, trying to cut the Bobcats off to the outside. Uh, he broke the line of scrimmage, and there was nobody there to uh, slow him down. He went through untouched all the way for the quick six-point touchdown. Jay Judy on to try the extra point for Montana State. I'll tell you what, he blasted through there like somebody had a slingshot, and he, as you mentioned, was long gone. Jay Judy for the extra point attempt for MSU. Ball is down. The kick is blocked again. And everybody falls on it down there. Second block today by the Cowboys. So with 12.42 to go in the first half. Montana State 25. New Mexico Highlands nothing. We now move to further action in the second quarter. So the Cowboys on offense. Hamilton wide to the left side. Out wide to the right side is Holland and going to be sacked by Mike Burns is Gabby Lujan who comes in for his first series and Mike Burns in there again to sack him so Burns is having a career this afternoon 6'3", 242 pound freshman out of Boulder, Colorado and we'll go with the quick count no huddle Lujan again straight drop throws it down the right sidelines it is caught by Holland up at the 36-yard line where he is tackled by Ernest Boyd. Not a way for the first down, but uh, going to get some good yardage out of it. They move the sticks. It'll be a second down and two. Again, no huddle. Lujan from the shotgun. As time, Cox Yarm throws incomplete over the head of Holland. Diedrichson and Hatch defending for Montana State up near the 50-yard line. Well, Lujan had been the starting quarterback for Highlands up until uh, today's game, and he just had a miserable game last week, throwing uh, three interceptions, a total of eight interceptions in two and a half games, so they made the move. Wants to throw the quick one, throws out on the right side and completes it to Holland. Penalty flag goes down as he makes the catch. He has enough yardage for the first down, but a penalty flag was tossed about the time he made the catch. Let's see what the call is. Obviously, if it's against the Cowboys... We'll deny them the first down. Officials huddling up. It's been flag day in Sales Stadium. And we're only in the first half. So what's the call? Here it comes, and it is ineligible receiver. Well, wait a minute. There it is, ineligible receiver downfield against the Cowboys. So the first down will be denied, as obviously the Bobcats will take the penalty. That's an unusual call when you see on a, on a quick uh, look-in pass like that. Generally, you don't see... Uh, uh, offensive linemen uh, getting over the uh, the line of scrimmage where they can be. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, the ball and the flag were there simultaneously. About the time Holland caught it, the uh, flag went up. So the official is going to move it back to the 32-yard line, give him the down over. The Highlands crew will take a timeout. 3.33 to go in the first half. Bobcats of MSU 25. The Cowboys of New Mexico Highlands nothing here on the Bobcat Radio Network. Well, the punt is shanked, and the Bobcats 
will get it in Cowboy territory as they bring it back in bounds at the 47-yard line of New Mexico Highlands. First down, Bobcats with 3.27 to go in the first half, and Clarence McKinney will come on at quarterback again for MSU. Boy, when it goes bad, <laughs> it goes all bad for New Mexico. They can't even get a decent uh, punt off here this afternoon. Wide to the right side, Brian, Tesh, and Rob Stoltz. Swenson, the lone setback behind Clarence McKinney. McKinney, play action and scramble for the 50-yard line. It's going to be a loss on the play of a couple of yards. Swenson stopped by Ura Marie. Swenson did get the uh, handoff. That's the good news. The bad news is he lost uh, a couple of yards on it. Be back near the 50-yard line. I think we're seeing the concentration slip a little bit by the Bobcats with a big lead, and I'm sure the coaches are not very happy to see what is uh, going on. They have a chance to get in, uh, have Clarence McKinney, Antonio Anderson work uh, with the number one unit as far as running backs and uh, offensively, but they've been moving backwards most of the time. McKinney on the give to Hagerberg inside the 50 down to about the 46-yard line. It'll bring up a third down and nine for MSU. Absolutely no place to go. As you mentioned, the Bobcats zipped out to a 25 to nothing lead and now uh, have been uh, going absolutely nowhere. If this were a practice, uh, Coach Solomonson might almost want to just call it off and try it again another day because they've been not uh, executing very well at all here in the, the last uh, two, three series that they've had the ball. Flattened out a little bit to say the least. Third down call, third and nine, as we mentioned. McKinney to throw, has time. Now going to pull it down and now going to be sacked back at the 45-yard line as coming in for the Cowboys is Greg Davis from the secondary, and that'll bring up a fourth down. So the Bobcats will send on Darren Swenson in the punting unit as McKinney apparently had a moment of indecision and that was all the time he needed to give Davis that extra step or two to sack him to mark it at the 47-yard line of Montana State. And the Cowboys will send back single safety Bobby Binion. Clock continues to run about a minute and a half to go here until halftime. Swenson kicks it high, not too deep, and out of bounds at the 28-yard line of the Cowboys. Well, that's only uh, about a 25, 30 yard kick there. So with a minute 22 to go in the half, the Cowboys will take over on offense, trailing 25 to nothing to Montana State. We mentioned at halftime, we'll uh, talk quickly with Larry Cheney, who will be heading down on the field for a uh, special celebration. Gabby Luan back in at quarterback for the Cowboys. Quick drop, wants to throw out in the left flat and completes it to his tight end Haslam who runs into Steve Lebsack who pulls him down to the 34-yard line. A minute 12, the clock continues to run. Three timeout. Luan, out over the middle, completes it to Holland down in Bobcat territory, down to the Bobcat 40-yard line. And that will be a first down. Well thrown ball that time by Luhan. He threw it right in between two uh, Bobcat defenders in the secondary. And uh, Holland finally comes up with a catch. Going with no huddle because the clock will stop while they move the chains. And they are ready to go again from the shotgun. Luhan with the call the Bobcat 40. All kinds of time. Wants to throw down over the middle. Incomplete. Intended for his tight end Haslam down inside the 30 but it is uh, bouncing off the turf down there incomplete. Stan Randall that time coming out of the backfield for uh, Highlands. He was standing wide open at about the 35-yard line with not a Bobcat uh, within 10 yards of him. So uh, let's maybe look for, uh, for a play here where they do throw to the back coming out of the backfield. Holland will come up wide to the right side. Binion will move it off to the left side. Short side of the field from the shotgun. Lujan. Getting pressure now comes back down the right side. It is picked off by the Bobcats' Ernest Boyd. Boyd up to the 48-yard line on the interception. 
So with 37 seconds to go, the Bobcat offense will have just a little more time to work with it. Well, when you put the ball in the air as much as Highlands does, you're uh, increasing the risk of the interception, and uh, that time was just a nice job of uh, Boyd stepping in front of the intended receiver there. I think that was uh, Wilson Holland, who, who may be a little bit of miscommunication between he and the quarterback as he was still going downfield, and the ball was thrown as if he were uh, running a look-in pattern. Freed wide to the right side, Plunkett to the left side. Antonio Anderson fumbles the snap. The ball is loose. Who has it? The Cowboys. 33 seconds to go in the half, and the Cowboys will have it again. Well, as you mentioned uh, early on, Paul, the concentration of the Bobcats has uh, waned somewhat here in the second quarter after they uh, jumped out of that 25 to nothing lead. And the uh, level of concentration not anywhere near what it should be. But Anderson just doesn't handle the handoff, or the uh, snap, I should say. And the ball will be at the 49-yard line of the Bobcats. First down for the Cowboys. Lujan will send Hamilton out wide to the left side. Binion and Hollow out to the right side from the shotgun again. As time penalty flags go down, he comes up short to Holland at the 32-yard line of the Bobcats, where he is stopped right there by Sean Hill. That one's penalty gonna, flags will stop the clock with 25 seconds. That one is going to come back as uh, Holland, the, uh, the flanker, he took out running before the ball was uh, snapped. He was, I don't think he was across the line of scrimmage, but he definitely did uh, take off before the ball was snapped. So the officials will discuss it. And now give us the indication, that's it, the illegal motion. So they'll get the down over, but it'll cost them. Move it back into Cowboy territory. Do you suppose the Highlands quarterback, uh, his real first name is Gabby? Good. Folks must have been watching a Gabby Hayes movie or something on television. From El Paso, Texas. Out wide to the right side is Holland. Slot left, Binion. Wide to the left is Hamilton from the shotgun once again. Luan. Has time, now running out of time, now throws down the right sidelines, incomplete penalty, flags come down as Hatch ran over Holland and pushed him all the way out of bounds in front of the Cowboy bench. That's an unfortunate break for the Bobcats if that call does uh, definitely go against the Bobcats because there was no way that that was a catchable pass at all. Gluhan was just doing more of a job of getting rid of it to avoid the sack. Illegal use of the hands against the Bobcats. Illegal block, anything you want to call it. Was making sure that uh, he was, in, uh, was not going to catch the ball. There was no question about that as far as Rob was concerned. They'll move it to the 45-yard line of Montana State. Eight seconds to go in the half. Normally, we'd say this would be the last play. The Cowboys have called a timeout. Eight seconds to go in the first half. Montana State 25, New Mexico Highlands nothing. Eight seconds to go here in the first half. The Bobcats leading at 25 to nothing. And before I was interrupted by the timeout, I was going to say normally you'd say this would be the last play of the half, but given the penalty flags here this afternoon, we could get several plays in with only eight seconds to go. Lujan. Wants to throw, goes deep down the left side, has the receiver there. It is picked off by Earl Melebeck of the Bobcats at the 10 yard, the, uh, 10 yard line. So with one second to go, the Bobcats come up with the interception. And boy, was uh, Lujan decked. I didn't catch the number of the Bobcat who, uh, who really ripped him, but uh, New Mexico Highlands, when they make their uh, bus ride home, they're going to be uh, being a, a little black and blue and bruised. I don't think he saw that either, Paul. <laughs> So, with one second to go in the first half, the Bobcat offense comes out. Down at the Bobcat 10-yard line. Quarterback is Antonio Anderson. What will the Bobcats elect to do here with one second? From the inverted bone, and penalty flags <laughs> go down as the Bobcats were sending players onto the field. <laughs> as the play was being run, and the call is against the Bobcats, obviously. Maybe there's an official bonus system for officials, the number of penalty flags that they throw, and they get a bonus or something. The officials after this one are going to have to go buy new flags and warn these out. 
Illegal substitution against the Bobcats declined, and that should end the first half at well. At the end of one half of play here in Bozeman this afternoon, Montana State 25, New Mexico Highlands nothing. Funded by contributions from Continental, working to be your choice to the world. Montana Power Company, the smart choice. Lincoln National Life Insurance. Bushnell Binoculars. Always put you in the best seat. Catch, as uh, Paul alluded to, no doubt we're uh, recipients of a little halftime. Uh, Motivational speech. Motivational <laughs> speech, yeah. That's the way we can put it here, I think. So we'll see what happens as they will uh, go on offense here to start the second half after they get the kickoff. A low liner, and it'll be taken by Ernest Boyd. Across the 20, the 25, to the 30, to about the 33-yard line. And the Bobcats will start it there. First down at their own 33-yard line. As Hogerberg and Ryan from Woody flunk it. Stoltz come in for the Bobcats. Woodcock, Hyden up front for MSU. Travis Annette. And the quarterback will be Clarence McKinney. A little surprised to see that. I thought they would start at least the second half with Tate Troll. Isaacson in there, Ratsburg. And Clarence McKinney behind the first unit. As everybody moved, but unfortunately the ball didn't. So they uh, start off the second half just where they finished the first half, and that is uh, somewhat out of sync. We told you 16 penalties in the first half. We've got one here, so we're up to 17 penalties already uh, in the game. A stat that you do not want to be a part of your ball game, and it has been a major part of this one this afternoon. You said 16, Paul, is that right? That's not counting the ones that have been declined. That's right. Or the multiple penalties that occurred on the three or four different situations. Bob Cat from the Cat 28. McKinney on the opposite left side. Back to Hogerberg. Too high. Ball is fumbled. Hogerberg falls on it. Back at the 15-yard line. So the Bobcats trying to find a handle. Eula Berry from his defensive end position broke through untouched and really poked uh, McKinney who uh, got a bad pitch uh, behind Hogeberg who just uh, really didn't have a chance to get close to the ball at all. So Stoltz will come out wide to the left side, plunk it out wide to the right side. On a second down call, the ball back at the 14-yard line. McKinney to throw it, angles it out to Stoltz, completes it up at the 20. 
to the 25, maybe the 26-yard line. A lot of that on second effort by Rob Stoltz after the catch. So the Bobcats get a little bit more room to operate in. But still looking at a third down and very long situation. Third quick. down and 18. That's just a quick look in uh, pass there to uh, Stoltz. McKinney with the call will send Stoltz out wide right along with Plunkett and Cy Ryan. Hogerberg is the lone setback. McKinney behind Travis Annette. On the option right side, pitches it to Hogerberg. Going out wide right looking for a block. Cuts it back up inside and will be tackled as he gets across the 35 up to about the 38-yard line. Nice uh, saving tackle there made by Scott Eldridge for the Cowboys. And the Bobcats will be forced to punt it away. And back deep will be Randy Montoya, 5'7", 160-pound freshman. As Swenson in to punt it away for the Bobcats. Line of scrimmage, the MSU 38, good snap. Kicks it high, gives it a pretty good ride. Montoya lets it hit, now picks it up on the bounce at the 20 and is wrestled down right there by Steve Perkins. So no return. 43-yard punt that time for Darren Swenson. Did a nice job of kicking the ball away from the uh, lone back in the punt recoverage. So Swenson continues to have a nice streak as the Bobcat punter, the freshman from Loveland, Colorado. And the Cowboys take over their own 20-yard line, trailing 25 to nothing. We're just underway in the third quarter. Dean Alexander, Paul Van Ellis, and Dan Davies. And starting this half at quarterback, Lujan again, and he throws incomplete. The 30-yard line intended for his tight end, Kevin Haslam. A diving attempt made, but the pass ruled incomplete. Burns, Hackert, Skelton, Whitmer, Perkins, Hill, Brady, Kemp, Hatch, and DiAugustino in there for the Bobcats defensively. Lepsack, again Lujan from the I formation on the pitch across the 20 and going absolutely nowhere from there trying to uh, get something moving to the right side. Mike Burns and uh, Rob Hatch doing a great job that time of standing up the blocker and uh, forcing the play to go inside and allowing the Bobcat pursuit to uh, Sean Hill to come over and uh, make the tackle. It's Michael Beard on the carry. Wide to the left side is Holland to the right side. He is Hamilton. From the eye, Lujan, straight drop, wants to throw, has time, comes over the middle and completes it to Holland, who runs into Mark D'Augustino up at the 27-yard line. That'll leave about three yards shy of the first down, Sticks, and that'll bring on the punting unit for the Cowboys. One of the few times this afternoon that the uh, Highland quarterback has actually had a little bit of time to sit back in the pocket and uh, find the open man. However, unfortunately, it was... Uh, under the uh, Bobcat zone coverage and just not enough for the first down. So he's starting quarterback Paul Rodriguez down here on the sideline with uh, looks like a sling or a cast or something on his left arm. So he obviously is uh, finished for the day. The ball is partially deflected and slashed out of bounds. Busting in there for the Bobcats on that one was Lance Sullivan getting a piece of it, I believe. And they'll bring it back in in Cowboy territory. The ball will be at the 40-yard line of New Mexico Highlands. And the Bobcat offense comes back out behind Clarence McKinney. Let's pause for station identification. You're listening to Montana State University Bobcat football. McKinney with the first down call on the option left side has the ball batted away and then he falls on it as he wanted to pitch it to Ryan one of the Cowboys got the hand in there and slapped it away and he will lose yardage back to the 44 yard line so it'll be a second down call for the Bobcats as the stats they were racking up in the first half are going into the minus category this half McKinney with Hogerberg and Ryan in behind him. Slot right formation. Tesh in the slot. Stoltz out right, wide right. McKinney wants to throw. Goes deep down the middle to Ryan. Too long. Incomplete down to the five-yard line. 
Over his head, back defending for the Cowboys is Carlo Padilla. And that'll bring up a third down for the Bobcats. McKinney showed a lot of arm there, but that's the good news and the bad news because it was too long. Took a tremendous pop at the uh, end, uh, end of the play, too, by uh, Jay Covington. So here we go with the big third down call for the Bobcats, who have yet to get untracked here in the third quarter. Clarence McKinney, freshman out of Yates High School in Houston, Texas, with the call. Option right side back to Hogerberg. Hogerberg trying to circle the right side and will turn the corner, stay in bounds. Down inside the 40 to about the 37-yard line. Still going to be shy of the first down yardage. Needed to get down to the 29-yard line, and that'll bring on the punting unit once again with Darren Swenson and company. Hogerberg doing a nice job of picking up uh, a few positive yards on that play. Uh, Greg Davis, the cornerback for Highlands, running uh, step for step with uh, Hogerberg, but Hogerberg able to shake the tackle loose. So Swenson on a fourth down call, fourth and about eight. Will he kick it or will he run for it? Ah, oh, it's to D'Augustino on the short snap, and he's got room to the 30, the 25, to the 20, 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, Mark D'Augustino! 37 yards out. He looked more like a tailback than a middle linebacker on that play. We've seen that used before by the Bobcats this year, the short stack. To the uh, up back D'Augustino, he started out left, picked up the first down, then he cut back right and broke a couple of tackles to uh, to score the touchdown. He's uh, makes about the third leading rusher for the Bobcats this afternoon. So Mark D'Augustino calling on some of his skills as a former running back for the Bozeman Hawks. 37 yards for the TD and Jay Judy on for the extra point attempt. 31 to nothing, Montana State right now. Jay Judy to try to make it 32. Ball is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 10-15 remaining in the third quarter on the... It's Montana State 32, New Mexico Highlands nothing. You're on the Bobcat Radio Network. Bobcats to kick it off, leading 32 to nothing here in the third quarter. Jay Judy to boot it for the Bobcats, Montoya. And Hamilton back deep for the Cowboys. Montoya takes it at the 5 to the 15 to the 20-yard line, and that is all he will get as he is wrapped up and dropped right there. And making the stop for the Bobcats is Cavey, who has had a couple of today on the uh, kickoff team. Craig Cavey, freshman out of Bozeman. Michigan State uh, making a game of it against Notre Dame. In the fourth quarter, it's Notre Dame 14, Michigan State 13. Hamilton wide to the left side, Holland to the right side. Lujan, penalty flags down, completes it. To his fullback, Stan Randall, coming out of the backfield. But the penalty flags again tossed. That's about number 18 or so. Unofficially. But who's counting? I guess we are, huh? Unbelievable. Bobcats, as we mentioned, next week to Pocatello for a night game. That's a 7.30 kickoff against Idaho State University, the Bengals of the Big Sky. Meanwhile, the Cowboys of New Mexico Highlands will be off next week. Illegal procedure against procedure the Cowboys. Cowboys. So the Bobcats will take the penalty. Jeff Newton in there, Jason Hackard, Skelton, Todd Graves, Sean Hill, Rich Brady, Steve Lebsack, Steve Perkins, Hatch, defensively for the Bobcats, and Joel Long. Lujan with the straight drop, pumps once, now comes back, throws it over the middle, incomplete, over the head of everybody. He was getting pressure from Jason Hackert. And that'll bring up a second down and 15 from the 15-yard line of the Cowboys. I'm sure that at this point in time, in this uh, point in the game, that the coach of Highland has got to be a little bit concerned. We've already seen uh, one quarterback down uh, with his uh, pads off and his, his arm wrapped at uh, the tremendous pressure the Bobcats continue to put on the quarterback that uh, he doesn't want anything uh, to happen to uh, his second quarterback. All out left. Montoya split off to the right side from the shotgun. Luhan to throw, gets time, comes back out in the right flat and completes it. Out of bounds uh, after the catch is uh, Michael Beard. 
And that's up uh, at the 20 yard line. Well played by Rob Hatch from his outside linebacker position. He just dropped back in the zone coverage and uh, he said, go ahead, I'll give you the short pass and was there to make the tackle for just a small game to bring up a third and long. The 28th pass of the afternoon by the Cowboys. 28 for 107 yards from the shotgun. Luan has time, comes up the right sidelines, tipped up in the air, incomplete. Defensive play made by Rob Hatch. Intended receiver was Kevin Haslam, the tight end. And that'll bring up a fourth down and 10 from the 20-yard line of the Cowboys. 32 to nothing. Montana State with the lead here in the third quarter. Dean Alexander, Paul Van Ellis, and Dan Davies from Sales Stadium in Bozeman. Back deep for the Bobcats, Steve Perkins along with Sean Hill. Line of scrimmage is the 20-yard line. High snap over the head and out of the end zone safety. So the Bobcats get two the easy way and they will get the ball back on the free kick. Well, it's been that kind of afternoon for the Cowboys. <laughs> when things go wrong, things go wrong. Bad snap and nothing you can do. We now move to further action in the third quarter. Lujan up under center, splits his backs. Two receivers to the right side. Holland and Hamilton, Lujan to throw, has time, comes over the middle and completes it to Holland who is hit immediately and wrestled down by Sean Hill. Well, mark his forward progress though up at the 44 yard line, so he's only going to be about a yard shy of the first down yard. He's be second down and one. How much do you gamble, Dan Davies, right now, the Bobcats? I mean, they know number one New Mexico Highlands is going to throw every down. I would think that at this point the Highlands uh, team would throw and go for the long one here on second and short. Holland is limping as he comes out in the slot to the right side. Montoya is put out wide right from the eye formation. Luan to throw, a hit as he lets it go, and it's intercepted by Hill. Hill the 45, the 40 to the 35 to the 33 yard line and pushed out of bounds. Sean Hill for the Bobcats with the interception. That was a poor decision by Lujan because uh, he was just under tremendous pressure and decided to get rid of the ball. He maybe should have eaten it because he, he threw it right into the heart of that zone secondary for the Bobcats, uh, the interception there. We do have a second quarter score. It's uh, Reno over Idaho State 12 to 7. The ball at the 32-yard line of New Mexico Highlands. Bobcats with the lead of 34 to nothing. We're in the third quarter, 6.51 to go. Stoltz, Plunkett, and Ryan out wide to the right side. Swenson is the lone setback. And I take it back, that's Tesh out there, and he's the offender as he takes off while everyone else was standing still. So that'll cost him five before they ever even come to the, basically even get set on the line of scrimmage. So that'll be a first down and 15 for the Bobcats on the illegal procedure call. Move it back to the 35-yard line or make that the 37-yard uh, line of the Cowboys. All right, make it the 36 when they spot it. Still in the third quarter. Ryan, Tesh, and Stoltz out wide to the right side. Clarence McKinney is the quarterback. Darren Swenson is the lone setback. Crumwoody, tight end on the left side. McKinney on the give to Swenson. Puts his head down and barrels forward inside the 35 to about the 34. So he'll pick up a couple. Not much more than that. As Nevin Oden comes in and Crumwoody checks out in his tight end spot. Swenson tackled by Tui. Second down call from the 35-yard line. They mark it now. Second and 13 for the Bobcats. Out wide right is Tesh. Ryan moves out in the slot to the right side. Stoltz out wide to the left side. Swenson again, the lone setback behind McKinney. McKinney on the option right side, keeps it. Finds a spot, fakes it, and gets down inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. So he'll bring up a third down and short yardage call for MSU. As Kirk Aquina gets up and uh, limps off for the Cowboys. McKinning doing a better job of the option that time, Dean. Uh, faked the, the defender that got up field and ducked right under him and uh, picked up the, the yardage to where they got the ball. So third down call for MSU. Third down and a little over two to go for the first down. 
Tesh in the slot right. Stoltz wide to the right side. Short side of the field. McKinney on the option left side. Keeps it. Ducks inside. Finds some room. Maintains his balance. Cuts back. Gets down inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. And that'll be a first down. So there again, he read the option well. Took the pick, kept it, tucked it up inside. And had a first down for MSU. What success the Bobcats have had uh, since the second quarter on when they took Tatrell out has been with the quarterback keeping it. McKinney's been doing a good job of uh, finding just a few little holes and cutting up field and uh, picking up the gains. He's going to have to learn, though, to, uh, to make the pitch because uh, teams will take that part of the option quickly away. McKinney with Tesh and Ryan wide to the left side, Stoltz to the right side, wants to throw straight drop, running out of time. Here comes the pressure. The ball is loose, and he will fall on it back at the 25-yard line. But he did not see it coming from his right side. Behind him coming in defensively was Greg Davis and sacks him back at the 25-yard line. Didn't see the man coming at all. He was looking to the uh, left for a receiver out there, and... Uh, the sack made by Jay Covington, the ball dropping loose, but uh, McKinney fortunately dropping back on it. He goes out, Antonio Anderson comes in at quarterback. Second down call. Reed wide to the left side, taking the slot to the left side. Ryan and Swenson behind Anderson. Anderson option right side, rolling out right. Going to keep it, tucks it inside, stays on his feet and gets down to about the 21-yard line. And bring up a third down call. A couple of uh, scores, Dean, a final. Uh, Washington State coming from behind to beat Wyoming. Uh, final 29 to 23. Notre Dame and Michigan State, as you mentioned earlier, that one in South Bend, that's in the third quarter. It's Notre Dame 14, Michigan State 13. Washington State undefeated on the season in the top 20. Wide to the right is Stoltz. Test to the left side. In the slot is Bryan. Anderson going to keep it. Up the middle, finds a little bit of room, and it'll get down to about the 11-yard line. It'll bring up a fourth down at about seven. And the Bobcats are going to send on Jay Judy and see if he can connect with a field goal. The thing about the offensive series with the Bobcats since the second quarter, really the only thing that's changed by and large for the most part has been the quarterback. You've still got Woodcock and Ratzberg and Travis Annette, uh, Derek Isaacson, Kenny Iden all in there on the uh, offensive line. So you've got your uh, front line that's ba stayed basically the same. 27-yard field goal attempt for Jay Judy. Rob Stoltz is the holder. Ball is down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. But hold it just a second. A penalty flag is down. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. You've been saying that a lot this afternoon. Uh, that's 19 or 20 there, I believe, on the penalty good. flag. Plus 20, I think. Well, what's the call? The call is offsides against the Cowboys. Roughing the kicker against the Cowboys. Oh, no, they're going to enforce it on the kickoff. Is that the deal? I believe that's 15. The Bobcats hanging around out there to uh, see what they want to do. Derek Isaacson, who had a great game last week against Eastern Washington. He was the uh, lineman of the week for the Bobcats. He's out there talking with the officials. What are their choices? Do they get an automatic first down if they were to take the penalty? That would be the question, whether they take the three points off the board. What? They decline him and will take the field goal. So the Bobcats put three more up on the board. 3.02 to go in the third quarter on the Tennis State 37. New Mexico Highlands nothing. <laughs> Judy kicks it to Montoya, yard deep in the end zone to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 18. Derek Diedrichson there for the Bobcats to provide part of the contact. And the other half of the contact on that one is made by 
Mike Pouliot. So the Bobcats leading at 37 to nothing here with 2.56 to go in the third quarter. The ball will be at the 19-yard line of the Cowboys. That's where they'll start. Hamilton will come wide to the right side, wide to the left side. Goes Holland from the shotgun. Rodriguez is injured. Lujan has come in to take his place. Throws out in the left flat and completes it. There's another penalty flag. And completes it out of the backfield to Stan Randall, his fullback. Illegal motion against the Cowboys. Well, it's been <laughs> a big afternoon for the officials also. Well, as the players get more tired, they also become, or tired physically, they, they get tired uh, mentally as well, and things, they start to jump, and, and their concentration level goes way down. They're also starting to tire the fans out as some of them are making for the exits, <laughs> as they are tired of it mentally too. So, all of you who are joining us in the parking lot on the radio, how's your day going? First down and 15 for the Cowboys. Lujan up under center this time from the eye. On the give to his tailback, Randall. Be tackled out across the 20, about the 22-yard line by Pouliot in there for the Bobcats along with Graves. So it'll be up at the 22-yard line of the Cowboys, second down, and about seven from the I formation again. Montoya out wide to the right side, Holland to the left side. Straight drop, throw over the middle to Holland coming across the middle. Gets away from one tackler, gets away from another, and then gets out of bounds over the 37-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down. Michael Kemp couldn't catch up with him as he came across in front of him and kept on going till he found safety out of bounds. And that'll be a first down for the Cowboys. 29 to 23. 37 to nothing, Montana State. A minute 54 to go in the third quarter. Cowboys with a first down at their own 37. Holland comes wide right. Hamilton to the left side from the eye. Randall and Ellison in the eye behind Lujan. Wants to throw, looks left, now looks right, now lets it go over the head of Holland incomplete. Trent Croker defending for the Bobcats. Wise decision by Lujan at that time. The Bobcats coming with uh, seven men on the blitz and uh, Lujan really just getting rid of the ball to save the sack. Lebsack, Mellebach, Diedrichson, Trent Croker, Joel Long, Mike Pouliot in there defensively for the Bobcats. Todd Graves, Jason Hackert, Mike Burns, Corey Widmer, John Skelton. Lujan rolling to the left side, this time to buy some time. Stop, winds up, comes back over the middle and completes it to Holland. And Holland is wrestled down by Diedrichson at the 50-yard line. But that will be enough for a first down for the Cowboys as they get a little bit better field position. But Lujan wisely that time rolling out away from the rush, bought himself some time and found his receiver. First down for the Cowboys. The ball just shy of the 50-yard line. Wide to the left side is Hamilton. Haslam the tight end on the right side. Montoya out wide to the right side from the eye again. Randall and Ellison in there behind him. Now Luan rolls right, throws right, completes it to Haslam. His tight end runs into Steve Lebsack, who wrestles him out of bounds in Bobcat territory down at the MSU 46-yard line. Give him three, second down and seven. The minute 16 to go in the third quarter. I do believe that in the second half here, that's the first time that uh, Highland has been in Bobcat territory. So the Cowboys on the move behind Gabby Lujan, who sends Montoya wide to the left side, has them the tight end on the left side. Hamilton out wide to the right from the I formation. Randall and Ellison again behind him, rolling to the left side. Ball is tipped in the air, and it is tipped again, and incomplete. A couple of Bobcats tipped it, and then finally lunging for it, and trying to come up with it, the last one there. Black. Corey Whitmer was Corey Whitmer and he's favoring his left knee now too as he uh, comes up to one knee Lepsack was the first Bobcat who had a chance for it and it bounced off of his helmet and then Corey Whitmer came up for it uh, and uh, looks like his uh, left foot uh, his left leg he uh, stretched out a little bit but that's he's up the one that yeah that's been bothering him anyway since Sam Houston State so he goes off under his own power my guess would be we won't see him the rest of the That's afternoon. That's a good deal. Comfortable leave for the Bobcats. No use in taking uh, any uh, chances. Jeff Newton in. 
for him. Third down call. Third and six for the Cowboys from the 46 of Montana State. Luan with a quick drop. Throws down deep for the middle. And Diedrichsen's there for the interception for the Bobcats. Back at the 15. Dancing around and pulled down back at the 10. And the penalty flag is dropped back here in the backfield. Well, if nothing else, that's almost as good as a punt for uh, Highlands. We're roughing the passer is going to be the call. So the interception will go for Nod, and that is going to really put the Cowboys in great field position. <laughs> so the Bobcats, who have been pitching a shutout, uh, are going to find themselves uh, backed up uh, considerably after that one, and the Diedrichsen interception, as we mentioned, will not go. So the official will mark it off down in deeper in Bobcat territory. There's the call. Personal Roughing foul, the passer. The passer first down, and the ball will be spotted down at the 31-yard line of the Bobcats. So the Bobcats now backed up. Deepest penetration by the Cowboys. Holland out to the left side. Out wide to the right side is Hamilton. Lujan from the shotgun this time while they wait to move the sticks on the far side. Lujan, straight drop, pressure's on, throws over the middle and completes it to Holland. He gets away from the first tackler, second tackler, and finally is wrestled down at about the 16-yard line. But he will have enough for the first down. And the way it's gone after every play now, I'm looking for a flag, none on that one. Lujan doing really a nice job. The Bobcats coming with the blitz that time. It was man-man uh, coverage in the secondary. Lujan and uh, Randall have been having, uh, or uh, not Randall, but Holland have been having success connecting here in the second half and moving the ball. They'll mark it at the 17-yard line. Holland out wide to the left side. Hamilton to the right side from the eye. Lujan. On the draw, and draws nobody as he hands off to Tim Ellison, but Ellison runs right into Larry Love of the Bobcats for no gain. And I don't think we'll get off one more play here in the third quarter. Well, they spot it now at the 16. You want to be generous, uh, we'll give him half a yard or a yard, call it second and nine, and that'll end the third quarter. At the end of three quarters, it is Montana State, 37, New Mexico Highlands, Five. nothing. Bobcat defense now with the most serious test of the afternoon. Corey Widmer back in the lineup at the nose guard position. Second down, call it nine, the ball at the 16-yard line of MSU. Stan Randall, along with Tim Ellison in there behind Lujan. Lujan looking left, wants to throw, goes left on the slant, incomplete, intended for Hamilton, and he would have had six. And there's the penalty flag. As promised, a little bit of football with penalty flags interspersed. We have a new rule in the broadcast booth. We'll tell you when there's no flag. Just assume there's a flag when you say nothing, right? That's holding that time against the Cowboys. Obviously, the Bobcats will take that one. So we played four seconds in the fourth quarter and have a penalty flag. So that will back it up outside the 25 to the 26-yard line, where it'll be second down all over again. Second down and 19. Holland to the left side. Montoya to the right side. Straight drop by Lujan. Over the middle. Holland's wide open. Catches it. The 10 to the 5. And out of bounds, just inside the one-yard line. Chasing him was Earl Melibeck. Bobcat the Cowboys threatening to put their first six on the board. Then break the Bobcat string. They've gone through, uh, well, they started with seven, so you had three more. They did uh, ten quarters without giving up a touchdown. That's, uh, that's in danger of going down the tubes right here. Good job again by Lujan. He was under pressure. Bobcat's coming with the blitz. You have man-man coverage. He found Holland. Holland made a good move to take it down inside the one. From the eye, Randall and Ellison behind Lujan. With the call first and goal from the one. Up to the top and over for the touchdown is Tim Ellison. So some of the fans thought that uh, that wasn't in, but the official's down there and he calls it. So the Cowboys have their first six of the afternoon. 
So a one-yard plunge by tailback Tim Ellison. And the Cowboys have broken the Bobcats screen of scoreless quarters. Or touchdowns. Going for two on this one. Lujan throws to Holland. He traps it, and they call one calls it good, and the other one wisely sees it in front of him and says no. So the two-point try is not good. And with 14.40 to go in the fourth quarter, Montana State 37, the Cowboys of New Mexico Highland 6. We now move to further action in the fourth quarter. Three receivers to the left side, Swenson the lone setback. Anderson fakes it, going to keep it, now dodges away from one would-be tackler. Needs a block, gets it, moves outside to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, and down to about the 27-yard line before he is stacked up. Another nice run by Antonio Anderson. Give him 18 yards on that carry. Little counteraction there by the Bobcats as they uh, get the movement going to the short side, to the right side of the field, and they uh, they pull their uh, guard and tackle from the right to come out and block left, and Antonio with it, a couple of nice moves for a big gainer. Mike Gannis out there, the linebacker for the Cowboys, just simply fell down trying to reverse his uh, direction. First down for the Bobcats, the ball at the 28-yard line of the Cowboys. 11 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Bobcats leading 37 to 6. Anderson with the give to Swenson and he will get down to the 25 yard line. Give him three. Second down and seven. Tackle by Evans. Bobcats don't have to do anything spectacular or fancy now. Just hang on to the football. Marty Milton in there at center for the Bobcats out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Bobcats have had a chance to uh, let a lot of guys see action here this afternoon, but they uh, lost some of their uh, momentum there. Anderson, play action, rolling right, wants to throw, stops, getting pressure, giving ground, giving more ground, now throws it, and it is incomplete out of bounds. Here you go. Anderson had to give a lot of ground, and as he gave ground, uh, one of his teammates coming back to try and help him out, and I think it might have been Cy Ryan, is uh, whistled for the infraction. And so the clipping call will go against the Bobcats. Fisher's still waiting to move the football, and now they'll move it back. Anderson looking over the sidelines for the call. There's the clip call and Clipping Montana State. Move the football back to the 40-yard line of the Cowboys. Bobcats leading at 37 to 6. Back in the big sky next week at Pocatello night game. Saturday night, 7.30 kickoff from the Mini Dome in Pocatello, Idaho State's Bengals, the Bobcats of MSU. Freed wide to the right side, Tash in the slot right. Ryan and Swenson. In behind Anderson, second down call. Option right side, now stops, wants to throw. Angles it deep down the right side, lines has Tesh there. Makes the catch, touchdown! Holy smokes, what a throw, what a catch! 40-yard toss. Rob Tesh from his uh, split end position just going down to that man coverage. Antonio put it up, and uh, Tesh stopped and made the nice catch. catch there was some contact down there too away from the uh, ball a little contact too I think almost before Tesh got to the ball but he makes the catch 40 yard touchdown toss the Bobcats will go for the extra point Jay Judy on Rob Stoltz is the holder ball is down the kick is up and the kick is good 10.05 to go in the fourth quarter. Montana State, 44. New Mexico Highland, 6.
kicks it off. Montoya takes it in the end zone. We'll down it right there. We now move to further action in the fourth quarter. So it'll be a first down. From the I formation, Lujan sends Holland wide to the right side, Hamilton to the left side. Randall and Ellison in there behind him. Randall is the tailback. Wants to throw and completes it to Holland coming across the middle. And there's yet another, let's say it together, penalty, penalty flag. flag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what will the call be on this one? Whoops. <laughs> Never mind, they say. Okay. So there is no penalty flag. The completion will stand. And it'll be a second down and one. The ball down to the eight-yard line. 6.30 to go, and the clock is ticking. Out wide to the right side is Montoya. Wide to the left side is Hamilton. From the eye formation, Lujan with the call. On the give to his tailback, Ellison. They get down to about the six. That ought to be uh, enough for a first down, depending on where they give him the spot. Bobcats bring some fresh troops in. Burns and Hatch coming back in. Love and Skelton go out. Craig Vest in there seeing some action in an outside linebacker position for the Bobcats. First and goal from the five for the Cowboys. Hamilton wide right. Holland in the slot right from the I formation. Lujan with the call, first and goal from the five. And the pitch to the left side, running inside and in for the touchdown. On the carry is Tim Ellison. And the Cowboys are on the board again. From five yards out, Ellison scores his second touchdown of the ball game and of the fourth quarter. Cowboys have been able to move the ball uh, pretty effectively here in the uh, second half. Luan has adjusted to the uh, pressure put on by the Bobcats. He's been able to find his primary receiver quickly and complete the pass and move the ball upfield. Upfield. So the Cowboys will huddle it up and go for two. As Luhan brings him out. And he doesn't like what he sees. He calls time. 5.46 remaining. Montana State 44, New Mexico Highlands 12. Cowboys come out. Set the formation. Going to go for two from the eye. Wide left Montoya. Slot left is Holland. Randall and Ellison in there behind Lujan. And the pitch to Ellison. He wants to throw. Cocks the arm. Lobs it in the end zone. Over the head of his intended receiver Haslam. And whoops. Guess what? <laughs> Another penalty flag. A rare flag on the play. <laughs> so that's a roughing the passer call. But I don't think that, uh, I think what you might hear in the background, some of the Bobcat coaches upset because he was a running back rolling out throwing it, and I don't know, sometimes that's a tough call to make. But Nonetheless, the Cowboys will get another opportunity. Now, wait a minute. What's the call here? And a timeout by the Bobcats. 5.46 to go here in the ball game. Montana State 44, New Mexico Highlands Cowboys 12. You're on the Bobcat Radio Network.
one more time. A try for the two-point conversion. Lujan comes back, throws it, and bounces it in front of his intended receiver. Tim Ellison incomplete. And so, with 5.46 remaining in the fourth quarter, Montana State leads the Cowboys of New Mexico Highlands 44-12. kick and the Cowboys recover it. He and I have a hard time believing that ball went 10 yards. Uh, it's it's, it. it's, it's still it nine and a half yards. Yeah. They haven't made 10 yet. Even with the recovery, it's not 10 yards. The only thing I can guess is they ruled the Bobcats touched it first and then the Cowboys recovered it, which may be the call. Well, I think you know, a win's a win for the Bobcats, but the coaches, uh, I can't believe, are going to be very happy with the way uh, the performance has been from the second quarter on. Lujan with a deep drop to throw. Has a lot of time. Comes out in the right flat and completes it to Holland, dancing across the middle. And then the Bobcats gang up on him up at the 47-yard line. Tackled by Joel Long. The Cowboys not electing to go with a hurry up call as uh, Lujan huddles him up. Holland with eight catches uh, through the third quarter so he's already into uh, double figures. Montoya wide to the right side. Holland to the or to the right side. Montoya to the left side from the eye again. Lujan rolling to the right buying time. Throws. Completes it to Holland. Skelton gets him down at the 46 yard line of the Bobcats. Very close to the first down depending on where they gave him the spot. He may have it. Not just a little bit shy. So it'll be second and less than, or rather third and less than one. Let's pause for station identification. You're listening to Montana State University Bobcat football. Bring up a first down for the Cowboys. Go home! Go on, Ben! Oh, the Cowboys taking their time huddling it up. Cowboys have scored twice here in the fourth quarter for their 12 points. Montoya will come wide to the left side. Out wide right is Hamilton. Lujan to throw, has a lot of time, now going to run for it, rolling to his left, stops, throws, it's batted away. Mike Burns again in there, gets the hands up. And that'll bring up a second down. That's the 55th pass of the ball game, I believe, for the Cowboys unofficially. Second down and 10, 357 on the clock. Cats leading at 44 to 12. Hamilton wide to the right side. Holland comes out wide to the left side. Split backs. Lujan, straight drop. Has a lot of time rolling, throws, and it is picked off. Monty Pareto, cast and all. Monty Pareto gets the interception for the Bobcats. Monty Pareto playing the inside linebacker. The Bobcats electing here late in the game, knowing that New Mexico uh, Highlands is going to be throwing the ball, uh, rushing four and dropping everybody else back into zone coverage, and that's all Monty did. He's responsible for the, uh, for the middle part of the field. He takes his drop and uh, the ball thrown right into his hands. The Bobcats start at their own 42. Antonio Anderson, the quarterback. On the option left side is wrapped up as he tries to move down the line of the left side for no gain. Be second down and ten. Anderson looking at the sidelines for the call. 44 to 12, Montana State will go to three and one on the year. 
And the Cowboys in New Mexico Highlands, 0 and 4. Slot right formation, freed wide to the right side. Plunk it in the slot, Anderson. Rolls back, wants to throw, comes over the middle and completes it to free down to the 42-yard line of the Cowboys. That'll be a first down. Complete Antonio free. getting pressure from behind. Didn't bother him. He just wound up and threw it. And nice pass to Freed, who makes the catch. And Freed limps off, favoring the right uh, near ankle a little bit. Anderson getting the call from the sidelines. Rob Stoltz back in. He'll come wide right. Plunkett will be in the slot to the right side. We have... Uh, going to have to get it off in a hurry. He does. Option right side. Pitches it back to Swenson. Trying to turn the corner. He does the 40 to the 35 to the 30. To the 25 down to the 20-yard line. First down. 22-yard pickup for Darren Swenson. And by Davis. The key was getting to the corner, and Swenson had enough speed and got to the corner and turned it and found some nice running room. Ball down to the 20-yard line. First down, Bobcats. Tesh goes wide to the left side. Plunk it to the right side. Scott McFarland tied in on the left side. Anderson on the give up the middle to Bryan. Down inside the 20 to about the 12-yard line, and guess what? A penalty flag. New Mexico carry. Highlands is offside. Somebody jumped before the uh, ball was snapped. Well, that'll stop the clock with 2.14. Bobcat with a chance to hit the 50 mark if they can get in the end zone. It's been a while since that has happened here. I think it might have been Sam Houston State, wasn't it, a couple of years ago? About 50 to 48 or something. Penalty has declined. So the Bobcats will take the play, get the clock going again. And it'll be second down and just about two for the first down. Plunkett wide to the right side, Tess to the left side. Brian and Swenson in behind Anderson. And we've got movement on the Bobcats now. Maybe they should have taken the penalty because that'll cost them five. Kevin Elliott jumped. So it'll bring up a third down and seven for MSU as they bring it back. And Davies checking the record book. When was the last time the Bobcats had 50? 51 to 7 last year against Boise State. How could we forget that? That's right. Got that. Well, Boise State forgot it too. Maybe that's why <laughs> I forgot. They pretended it never happened. Anderson on the option left side finds a crack. Gets inside of the 10 down to the 9, maybe the 8 yard line. And he'll have the first down. So it'll be first down and goal for the Bobcats from the nine-yard line of the Cowboys. As the Bobcats will huddle it up, minute 41 to go. First and goal from the nine-yard line. Antonio Anderson does show some strength here, breaking a few arm tackles and uh, powerful legs, uh, getting the extra yardage for the first down. He may have moved up to the number two spot of the quarterback depth chart. Anderson with the call. Option left side, whoops. Runs into one of his own people on the handoff. Gives it up. Get a yard or two, maybe. The second down and goal from the seven-yard line. So they will pick up a couple on that. He looks over the sidelines. Brian and uh, Swenson are his running backs. Under a minute to go. Test wide to the right side. Plunk it to the left side. Anderson with the call. And the whole line jumped, but hold it just a second. Until the center snaps the ball, nobody can leave, and Marty Milton didn't snap her back. And the penalty flag fly. So, with 46 seconds to go, that'll cost him five, back to the 12-yard line. That's a situation where... Uh Every, or everybody but the center is right or uh, the center is the only one that is right well if they voted by committee he'd lose <laughs> <laughs> he would be outnumbered second and goal for the Cats Anderson on the option right side pitches it back to Swenson to the 10 down inside the 10 pushed out of bounds at about the 7-8 yard line that'll stop the clock with 26 seconds and bring up a third and goal 
from the seven yard line. So coming in now is Cy Ryan at fullback. Plunkett will go out and no doubt will load up the backfield here. We'll have Brian and Ryan and Swenson. Barnum the tight end on the right side. Test put out to the left side. From the inverted bone. Option left side. Anderson to throw. Throws the end zone. Touchdown. Rob Tess. Makes the catch. Anderson could have run it in two. Threw it to Tess. Touchdown Bobcat. Scanning the field to see if there's any penalty flags down. I don't see any at all. Nice round run by uh, Tess. He, he ran his uh, defensive back into the end zone. And then uh, cut to the outside. The ball was there when he made the cut. Nicely thrown pass by uh, Antonio Anderson. And uh, touchdown. And uh, give the scorekeeper a couple of points Oops, because he let the clock run off 15 more seconds. He's got it down to six seconds. Judy on for the extra point attempt. And this would tie last year's high of 51. As Dan mentioned, scored against Boise State if Jay Judy can connect. Still waiting for something, what I don't know. Now we're set. Seven yard toss. Ball is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Six seconds to go. Montana State 51, New Mexico Highlands 12. You're on the Bobcat Radio Network. Sorry about that. Josh Gates, we have your wallet. We have your wallet in the upper press box. And your library card is expired. on the whole study. Now they have reset the clock and put it back to 18 seconds. Uh, the Bobcats will kick it off, and Judy just kind of nubs her a little bit and out of bounds. And guess what? Oh, no. Is it? Could it be? Ladies yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a flag on the play. A penalty flag. Dan, uh, in all your years of uh, coaching and uh, playing, have you uh, ever been involved in a game where you have seen as many flags? I sure can't remember one uh, this bad, Paul, with the number of flags. The, the amazing thing is they're fairly equal to uh, calling on both sides. How about you, Dean? No, the officiating crew is going shopping next week, and they're going to get jerseys that have the right sleeve a lot longer than the left. Because <laughs> they have exercised the heck out of that arm today. <laughs> well, the penalty is declined. The Cowboys will take it at the 40, and Lujan will toss it. Tries for the home run ball down the right sidelines, and it is out of bounds. And that ate up eight seconds. Holland and uh, Sean Hill with a little conversation as they come back. Well, about the only thing that hasn't happened here with 10 seconds to go. Let's see, how about a pass picked off and returned for a touchdown? We've had about everything else today from both sides of the ball. Lujan with the throw. Comes down the right side. It is incomplete and almost intercepted by Sean Hill of the Bobcats. That'll bring up a third down with three seconds, and there is a penalty flag. <laughs> a penalty flag. Can you believe this? I guess, you know, when you're in the groove and you got the good motion, 
you don't want to give it up. You just kind of want to keep the flags coming. Officials are a little bit concerned with three seconds left to play that the game might be getting out of hand. So it's uh, going to be a personal foul call against New Mexico Highlands. And that will back them up. So... Wilson Holland, uh, the intended receiver with a little late block there on uh, Sean Hill who is trying to make the interception. If you just joined us, we're in extra innings. The flag tossing was tied at the end of nine. We're now in the 11th inning of tossing the flag here. Ball back to the 25 yard line with three seconds to go. Lujan fumbles the snap, goes back for it, picks it up, wants to throw, wants to run, wants to do something. Now here, you take it, and he tosses it over to his tailback. And that will end it all as running for the sidelines is Tim Ellison. And that will be the ball game here this afternoon. So there it is this afternoon. The Bobcats of Montana State University take care of New Mexico Highlands by a final of 51 to 12 here.